Over 50 yards between this play and the last one. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play caller right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it to kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play? Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. 11 more on that one and another first down. Just picking up yardage and bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Here we go now on first and goal. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. From the two now, second and goal. Again, McCaffrey. And yeah, this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. This Washington defense, they've stood tall the first two plays. Now third and goal. the ground McCaffrey and this time he is in yes. Christian McCaffrey he has career touchdown number 78 tying in with both Eddie George and Frank Gifford on the all-time list and the Panthers go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT and it's now a seven nothing game now after the touchdown here's Gonzalez on to kick it away Taken at the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And they are over 500 for the season, four and three. They got back above 500 with a victory last week. And Charles, you think this is a very important week for them, do you not? I certainly do, because when you start to do the math, and yes, I'm using my fingers to count. If you're four and four at the midway point, let's say you're saying 10 wins is your cutoff line for a playoff berth. It's usually right around that number. A loss here, all of a sudden, you've got to go six and two down the stretch just to reach 10 wins. That means this game is vital. On second down, a run with Gibson. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. It looks like, yes, it is six defensive backs on the field for Carolina. They're going with a dime set. Powell throwing on third down here. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. First down, Hal to throw. Going right back to Dodson. 
And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Throwing again on second down. Powell, pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. So here we go, fourth down. Howell slings this deep from McLaurin. And he's got it inside the 10. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. And how about the decision here to go for it? No, not just go for it, but really go for it. I never would have guessed that that's what they were going to do, but let's give them a ton of credit there. They got to pay off for a big play. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. The delay of game, a costly one, as they're backed up five for first and goal. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. completing the quick throw out wide. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. A gain of seven that time, second goal. And they ran just a little underneath route here on first and goal, but there's really not a whole lot of room to operate this close to the goal line. He's just not able to get loose after the catch. Second down and goal. Powell, and a quick throw here, that's complete. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Third and goal toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So now fourth down looming. Remember, these guys went for it on their last drive, but it didn't work out. Uh, even though it didn't work out, I would not be surprised at all <laughs> if they went ahead and did it again. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Darn right. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And he returns this to the 22.
The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up, place the ball, so they can snap it and get back to work. So Charles, you know, offensively, this group really playing at a high level, 7-0. And we're still a long ways from discussing a potential unbeaten season, I think. But to use a golf expression, no blemishes on the card, at least to this point. Yeah, unlike my teenage years where there were blemishes everywhere and the dermatologist was on speed dial. But I do think that they're going to have to start answering questions about this start if they keep winning games. You and I both know, we in the media, will start to obsess about it and wonder, can they take it all the way to an undefeated season? On first down, this is McCaffrey. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Now Mayfield. That's complete out right to the tight end, Trimble. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that. But it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. On third down, Mayfield. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. And that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. Now the Panthers are going to signal for their third and final timeout. And with that, they're now out of timeouts and still plenty of time remaining here in this second quarter. to Melton and he is going to have a Panthers first down as they manage to convert and that'll keep the drive alive Mayfield another catch for Melton and he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Well, it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Throwing again, Mayfield on second and ten. Eluding the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going.
This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Mayfield looks to throw. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Bo Melton halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50 as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Gonzalez good on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. So all of a sudden, with that run, maybe now a chance for points here. It's a total mind shift, isn't it? Because what you were saying before was, hey, let's just get out of here, get the half over with. Instead, we can get some points now. 114 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football for a triple option, you've actually called that play. He's second in the NFL in interceptions, and you understand why. He plays the game with great intelligence, understands positioning, and has a great ability to break on the football when it's in the air. So fun to watch his closing speed and another example of it on that play. To throw on second and ten. Powell. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Sam Howell as the first half is winding down. And the commanders are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes it a 14-10 ball game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. That one will set them back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach.
Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Panthers out in front and they will get the football first. Second half action underway. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. But that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage, but what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Hey, water alert, water alert. To throw Mayfield. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 19 yards the pick up there. Move the chains. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Mayfield on first down. On the move, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. When he shot in, CD, like he was out of a cannon from that linebacker position, and even though they had a running back in the backfield, no one could stop him. Well, you certainly diagnosed that play perfectly because as fast as he got into the backfield, you're exactly right. The running back had no shot to get over and try to protect his quarterback, and a sack resulted. Another try after the first down sack. Mayfield. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Calling a gain of three on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Mayfield from the gun on third down. Sliding out of the pocket. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. So it would appear they will not be able to add to their lead on this opening drive of the second half. Yeah, if another touchdown was scored there, now we're talking about a two-score game, and they're probably on their way of creating an excellent gap between them and their pursuers. But how about the defense there able to step up and keep themselves in this one? On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. He'll field this at the five. Six-yard return after a punt of 48. And the Washington offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? And a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did he touchdown, Washington? Antonio Gibson 
with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Commanders have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Extra point safely through, and it's now 17-14. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Six yards on that last play, here's second and four. the shotgun to McCaffrey and he'll be brought down at the 48 yard line six yards the pick up and that's a first down running lanes were at a premium in the first half but he's able to find some room there and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half they'll try to throw here Mayfield to the sideline, he finds Melton. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Throwing Mayfield. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively, but they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. They'll run on first down. It's Carr, and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Another run, this time McCaffrey. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. But a spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? A credit to defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Mayfield to throw it. Touchdown, Panthers. D.J. Moore with career touchdown number 70. And the Panthers have retaken a third quarter lead. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT, and that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. 
And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. They're set ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. My partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last time that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now they go play action with Hal. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that's caught at the 25. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13 yard line. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. the 13 now they work on first and 10. A handoff running left is Gibson. And he takes it in. Touchdown Commanders. Antonio Gibson. Halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the Commanders answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. And that is off the left upright. It's no good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Over the middle, complete into the hands of Trimble. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Mayfield down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. The offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. To throw again on second down, Mayfield. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try to cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field.
The Panthers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. From the gun, Mayfield. Quick slant complete to Melton. And the Panthers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Panthers have taken a fourth quarter lead. Gonzalez good on the extra point, and the lead is up to five. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Now the bad news for them, they've seen that cushion they once had totally evaporate, and they're working from behind. The good news, they now have the opportunity to regain the lead right back. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Gibson here running out of the gun. 221 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Back to throw. Howell. Throw right side taken in by Gibson. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner. We're watching them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. And this is going to be a commander's first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. First down, how to throw. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Straight ahead, Gibson. 
And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Powell trying to pick it up on third. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Commander's football as we get back to it. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here of what could be their final drive. Give running right, Gibson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. So that time, they got the left guard with a hole. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. They'll try the left side with Gibson. And some space here. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. Gibson and he'll take this down just shy of the 25 yard line Neville Gallimore on the stop I like it I like the call still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Howell. Throwing left side, it's complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. 23 yards on the play. I'm a little surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they aren't using them. Those timeouts do you no good at home. Use them now. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll run with Gibson. And he's across for the touchdown. And it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, 
They made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators are probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Mayfield. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Well, big plays back and forth just continue. Both offenses excelling. And I hear the excitement in your voice while you're calling this game. This hurts my soul as a defensive player, watching these teams go up and down the field and put points on the board. Do me a favor the rest of the way. Sit back, relax, and just appreciate the offensive dominance that's going on out here. I'll give it a shot. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On the ground with a tight end. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And Gonzalez out now to try the Panther field goal. With one second to go, this to send us to overtime. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. So the first chance of this overtime will go to Washington as we are back underway. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And everyone knows the OT rules, Charles, but pretty simple formula. They go down and get a field goal, we continue play, but if they can find the end zone on this possession, ball game over. And as meticulously as all teams plan for a game, I don't doubt for a second on that offense coordinator's play sheet, 
He's got some overtime plays that he wants to run. I know it sounds crazy, but they plan for everything. First and 10 all the way throughout the game, second and seven, whatever. Right now, he's looking at that play sheet saying, if we get to overtime, what can we break out that they haven't seen? The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Once more, Gibson. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Good job there keeping him to a short gain. Of course, he's coming off a really terrific performance, reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And I know people get caught up in, well, if you're the reigning Defensive Player of the Week, you must have made a bunch of spectacular plays. Like you mixed in a few of those, but most of the plays are just like we saw there. Keep them to short gains, make the fundamental tackle. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. The Panthers are going to take another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. deep from McLaurin. And this one is incomplete. Ron Rivera, the gambling type, but he comes up empty here. And now possession will go over. yard line. Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Off left tackle, it's McCaffrey. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now McCaffrey, off right tackle. And he is in for the score. And it is absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. So a win here for the Panthers, and it was... Dollar. Dollar. Hey. hey, DJ Mosky, let's get it. Let's get it. We the champions here in Los Angeles. We doing numbers. Bring it home victory straight out the huddle. I met the plug, introduced to my brother. My squad superior, ain't none above us. We doing numbers. 
Gang in the building, we taking it over. Call the promoters. Hey. I just pulled up in the state with my soldiers. Hey. I blew it and I'm still. Last minute, I'ma need me some. Call up Khalifa. Brand up in the. You know I stay with some bad little baby. TGOD, baby, know that's a gang gang. Crazy girls after the game. We doing honest, we going the same. Pouring this, pouring this, pouring this, pouring this, pouring this. Yeah, homies got me pouring this, pouring this. We get awards, but we get God the glory. Now I'm shooting my shot, and most times I be scoring. Do this for my city, I bring on the trophy. Feel like Freddie Mercury, we are we the champions. champions. Here in Los Angeles, we doing numbers. Bringing home victory, straight out the huddle. I'm at the plug, introduced to my brother. My squad superior, ain't none above us. We doing numbers. Gang in the building, we taking it over. Feeling like I can't miss. Baby, it's all on the wrist. You really wanna be the boss that's expensive. Ain't the real champ if you never defend it. Put in that work, I'ma make them remember. I just broke down hella trees yelling timber. Stand in the line, they put me in the center. It blow their mind when they see how I'm winning. Went back and doubled up, now you in trouble. My I hustle, my diamonds are huddled up. TGOD got this off the muscle. Let's me about my life, man. I love it, I love it. Got so many rings, I need room for another one. Been through the pain, now it ain't no more struggle. My team win the game, put our face on the cover, brother. We, we the, the champions. champions. Here in Los Angeles, we doing numbers. Bringing home victory, straight out the huddle. I'm at the plug, introduced to my brothers. My squad superior, ain't none above us. We doing numbers. Gang in the building, we taking it over. I drove it so fast that I blew out the engine. I kept it too real ever since the beginning. I play offensive D, I might switch my position. Lil' mama was thirsty, so I had to quench I'ma drive real fast, cause you know I shoot quick. Feel like traffic kills I be having emotions. You're like a lamb, I ain't know I'm exploding. My heart cold, bad, I ain't got emotions. I'm going hard, yeah, you know I'm devoted. We running streets, yeah, you know we control it. She love the kids, she be busting it over. I'm quarterbacking like on Kyler Murray. Trying to win, I'm up at practice early. Going crazy, I just run the jersey. It's the first half, and we done dropped 30. We just up the score on them boys. I told my boys, it ain't no limits. Told all my dogs, it ain't no limits. Put your head in the game, head in the game, head in the game. Head in the game, head in the game. Money on my mind, head in the game. It's like I scored again, diamonds on them dance. I can hear the music playing with the bands. Crowd going wild, dived in the fans. I'm locking in on a mission, I'm turning my vision. You young as she get like me. I got your shorty, she with me. I gave her a jersey, I told her to join my team. It's best you go with a safe, you know how I play. I get to a sack like Frank. You can teach money to fly, I turn it a hop. I catch it and go to the bank. It's crazy, I'm used to the lights, I'm shining so bright. It's vibes to cover my face. You see me working and working, I'm getting it done. As soon they be feeding me grapes. Yeah. I told my boys, it ain't no limits. Told all my dogs, it ain't no limits. Put your head in the game, head in the game, head in the game. Head in the game, head they in the game. They screaming my name when I walk in the building. Yellow diamonds on me like I play for the Steelers. I'm in the field, yup, just like a Steeler. Oh, this your girl, my band had the Steeler. I hop on the beat and I float like a real. I call the TD, yeah, right across the middle. I'm speaking thanks, boy, you telling riddles. Can't hang with the gang, so we had to sit on where down. I'm in LA, riding around in the round. My dog just called, say he finna touch down. When I call a play, you won't hear a sound. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Money call it right now. I gotta go and get it, and it don't matter how. All I know is, man, yeah, I'm 10 toes down. I keep my head high and my eyes on the prize. Yeah, my feet on the ground. Let's go. Let's go. I told my boys, it ain't no limits. No, uh, no. Told all my dogs, it ain't no limits. Put your head in the game, head in the game, head in the game. Head in the game, head in the game. Two turned up, turned down right now. Two don't make bad to get around right now. 